Today I wanna to show you how to add a free AI accessibility widget to your website. And if you're wondering why that's something you should even bother considering doing, that's a really good question. This accessibility widget has features that allows those with disabilities to fully navigate and access your website. And because it's AI enabled, it provides this as an automated solution to make sure that you are adhering to web content accessibility guideline standards and Americans with Disabilities Act regulations. And that's all to say, you just need to make sure that your website is fully compliant with the law. And there's actually a number of laws that your website should be compliant with. But beyond just the law and that being a big reason to do it, this is really important for user experience. You should take the little bit of extra time to make sure that the websites that you create, the websites that you manage are fully accessible to a wide audience and include everyone equally, including those with disabilities. And this is so easy to do. This only takes literally a few minutes of your time and it's free for you to do. And this is automatically going to help fix some of the usability issues that your website may have. And it can also help to scan for issues that may only appear on certain screen sizes and devices. So let me show you just how easy this is to set up. You're going to come here to the SEMrush AI accessibility widget page, which I will link to below for easy access. We are going to first choose our plan. If you have less than 100,000 page views per month, you're good with the free plan. The premium plan does have a handful of additional features, but it also allows you to have a much higher page uh, view volume per month. So for the most part, you'll be able to select free and simply insert your website address here. And then down below here, we can click on add. And then scrolling down here, it will give us an embed code. Now this embed code is all we will need in order to add this to our website. As you can see here, we need to add this as the first entry in our site's head tag and we're good to go. So we can simply copy that and we can jump over to our website here. So for this website here, we are using the generate press theme and plug in here to add elements to our page. So we are simply going to add a new element. We're going to select a hook here and then we can add in a title. If you're using generate press, you'll follow these steps. If you are not, then you will need to go in and manually add this to your code, have a developer do this, or there are some plugins that will help you do this well as well, or even using Google Tag Manager. We'll make sure that this is set to WP head. Next, we'll select display rules and we'll have to select a location. So we'll just put that this is gonna be good across the entire site and click publish. Now that that has done, we can come back over here to the widget page in uh, SEMrush and we will configure the accessibility widget. So now this is where you can choose the icon and this is what is actually going to appear on your website. So if you head over there, you'll see this icon by default and you'll be able to change it. But if you want it to match your website's colors, then you'll be able to select from different colors and you can change that here. Select if you want it to be a large icon or just the default size icon there as well. And then where do you want it to dis be displayed? Do you want it to be in the top right hand corner, the bottom left and so forth? A lot of times we see this here in the bottom right. So that is what I will select. But if you want to select an exact position, then you can turn this feature on and do that here. Then we can simply save the features and you'll be able to head on over to your website. So you can see now when I'm over here on the website, we now have this accessibility icon appearing down here in the bottom and we can now see what features this has over here. And these are all the features that are going to help those with disabilities. So if they want to get rid of images, if they need bigger text to be able to make it easier for them to see if they have dyslexia, then this will change the text and it will make it easier for them to be able to read. And that is it. This is literally all you now need to do. This is completely free. As I mentioned, to use up to a hundred thousand views per month, the paid version does have some additional options and some accessibility profiles. So you can select colorblind and so forth just to help them navigate the site and will automatically fix any issues to help make it compliant. So hopefully this helps you see just how easy this is to add an accessibility widget to make sure that you are making your website as user friendly as possible for as many people as possible so everyone can equally access your website.
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe if tutorials like this are helpful for you and I will see you in the next one.